Greetings fellow Earthlings, this is a big one. The last tournament champion for the E4I3 tournament, we have Lonnie, playing against the second place champion in the E4I3 tournament, Exad. Both these players have proven themselves very well, uh, very good players. Um, they've actually already played a game, Exad, Exad's team won the first match, uh, sadly I didn't get to record that one, but here we are with the second. It's 1-0 to Exad right now, it's the best of three. Um, the third match, if this one turns it into a draw, might have to continue later down the line, but oh well. Um, today on Exad's team, we have two good friends of mine, Methodius and Swim Coach, and on Lonnie's team, two people I don't really know that well. Uh, we have Apifos and Angel. I've never seen these play before, but you know they've got decent stats, so they should be able to uh, hold their own ground. But yeah, of course, good luck to all the players. Uh, we have Autumn Rise, which is by far the worst 3v3 map for this, um, but still, it, it should be fun to watch. Uh, this is my first time spectating a 3 vs 3. Um, the swim coach hasn't read it up yet, so we're just waiting on him. Um, it's it's a very weird map. It's it doesn't feel like a competitive map. It just feels like there's some uh, random thing thrown in there. But you know, let's hope it goes well. Good swim coach loaded. Um, and yeah, here we go. First ever three v three. I'm commentating. So we have, of course, over here in blue, swim coach playing as the Vikings. Methodius is playing as the Germans. Exard playing as the Anglo's. We have Lonnie playing as the Germans. Um, Angel, what is it? Yeah, Angel. I thought it said Angle for a second. Angel playing as the Slavs, um, and Apifos playing as the Anglos. So very balanced. Uh, the only difference is Swim Coach has Vikings, whereas Angel has Slavs. Um, early game that gives advantage to um, Angel, but as we get later on, I guess it'll balance itself out a little bit. Anyway, they're all moving in now. Exide makes the first move onto this village here, and um, Lonnie moves onto this village here. Uh, village B, is it? Yeah, Village B. Meanwhile, I always like the early manoeuvres in this game concerning this village. Like, who goes up the hill first, who sets it on fire first? So, yeah, this should be interesting to see. It looks like Swim Coach has spotted um, Apifos. Um, his spearmen charged right into those slingers, should cut those down easily enough here on here, but over here. Um, do we actually... Uh, let me just check. Hmm. Some of the keys didn't work. Ah, there we go. Ah, well, too late now, anyway. We missed five, but oh well. Uh, we had some, of course, good luck, have fun, just called in the chat there. It looks like Methodius is moving up to take E. Uh, Exide is going to cross a bridge and come in contact with Lonnie. Uh, meanwhile, Swim Coach pushes up to try and take C Village. But it looks like um, Angel's going to come up, up right up his butt and catch him on the flank. Uh, Swim Coach, of course, has some reinforcements coming in. He should know by now that he's there. Yeah, he's spotted him by now. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he reacts, so instant defensive formation, he's done a full turn around uh, and fight him and come in with a flank as well, so yeah, he is fighting swordsman, so he does have a disadvantage, but this number advantage plus a flank, he should be able to win this. Oh, it looks like there was an engagement over here, um, looks like Exad had to pull back his hero, uh, managed to get to safety, and Lonnie is crossing the bridge with his hero. Uh, still be interested to see how things unfold over there. Uh, Angel has of course had to pull back and it looks like Swim Coach is going to take this village and heal up. Methody is bringing in some reinforcements, it's a little bit late but Swim Coach managed to uh, solve the issue all by himself anyway. Uh, right now, blue team have three villages, red team only have one, so War Scroll ticking heavily in blue, in blue team's favour but you know, there's still time. Looks like Exad's hero is going to get caught by some of Lonnie's uh, cleavers. Um, probably going to have to retreat that. Um, Lonnie's hero has spotted the um, he has spotted the um, the slingers. Wonder how the slingers are going to react. It looks like we're going to try and pull back. Yeah, Exad pulling his hero out of there. And what's what's happening over here? So, um, oh, are we going to get to see a bit of hero on hero? Yes, here we go. So. Um, we have, I think that's Methodius' hero versus 
Um, is that Angel's Saber? I, I don't actually know. Anyway, Axeman versus Swordsman. Usually the Axeman should have the advantage, but it depends on, of course, Charge, who was in defensive formation, if any other troops get involved. And it looks like um, Methodius held his ground there, so well done on him. He's actually retreating right now. It was happy for his hero. Kind of strange. I, I guess he was um, expecting... Yeah, he pulled back because the Fort Spoon coach was going to flank, so... Better safe than sorry, just pull him out of there in time. So, Angel has some archers round uh, here now. Might get charged by cavalry. No, swim coach did. Oh, it did spot him. Did it? Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, the, oh, that was a nice shot by Angel. Nice shot by Angel there. He probably has no idea the stream night is going on because he didn't sign up. But Angel, that was a nice shot. Uh, managed to take down, I think that was swim coach's cavalry. Um, oh, it looks like... Uh, Lonnie is making a push up here, was unable to make any ground. It he managed to turn Exard's village into defensive formation. Um, but you know, he's tier 2 now, he's got his spearmen, and he's using his slingers to take a take a peek, see what's happening. Lonnie's building a trap, and ooh, Exard is going to spot that trap. Um, so he's done another that's so he's done able to burn it down in time, and Oh, that was brutal. Was that Angel's Archers that just caught, caught completely white? We can see all the dead bodies there. And it looks like Blue Team are going to take yet another village, sending Red Team further um, in, into the hall, basically. They're going to start struggling now. Not not looking good for Red Team. I can pull it back, I was saying in my last one, that comebacks do happen. Oh, again, Red Team placing a trap. But Methodius is here. He sees it. No, he does not see it! He didn't see it, it was like millimetres away. He did not see that village. It looks like... Okay, it's fine. Exide is in defensive formation. He's going to spoil it for him, but... Oh, that... Those millimetres there of, like, blind spot, that could have caused a lot of issues, but no. Exide, he's going to see it, and... Oof, that... That could have gone very bad for Blue Team, if they managed to get caught there, but... Sadly for the Red Team... Um... Yeah, things just worked out bad for them. Uh, they are managing to take a second village, that should uh, definitely try and balance some things out a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. Um, they've got a lot of troops around, it looks like Swim Coach is coming in for a flank, uh, trying to get up there, whilst Exad, no he's not going for a flank, he's actually pushing up uh, to take Lonnie's village here. So, yeah, he's going for B, while Swim Coach, he's moving in for uh, D. And there's some stuff happening over here as well. Um, ooh, a blue trap here. No one's noticed it yet. Wonder if these red swordsmen are going to get caught. I bet, I bet they will. Yeah, they're going to walk right into that trap. They lost half the squad. Uh, they're probably going to have to pull back and heal up. That was not good form. Uh, some engagement happening here. Um, I think blue team have the upper, upper hand. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. It's difficult to tell. It looks like Exide is going to take that village from Lonnie. Um, how many losses did he take? Yeah, he's done it. Get a good defence set up there. Um, Angel, he has got some troops over here, some swordsmen and some archers. He's going to make a push up this way, uh, try and uh, stop Exide. But yeah, Exide has been playing very well in these three v threes. Um, he won the he won the warm up versus Lonnie. Um, he won the first map. He's actually won our up. Uh, they've already played, as I said, I think. Uh, this is the second game, and it looks like he's going to go 2-0 up, so... Yeah, that should definitely be a win for Exide. He might have come second in the 1v1 tournament, but in this scrim night, he's coming first. Well done, Exide. Unless, of course, we can change it round. Um, I'm calling it too early again. Um, of course, Red Team, um, Apifos here, he managed to take this village. Uh, village A, I think that is. Yeah, which should help a little bit, but of course, they lost this one. Was it a worthwhile trade? I I don't really know. Right now, blue team have four villages compared to red team's two. Um, Lonnie doesn't have really any units around. Where are they all? Has he sent them for? Ah, here they are. They've been sent forward. Okay. Um, he's going to try and reclaim village B now. Um, it looks like uh, Methody is pulling back to heal. I thought it was going for D, but now he's got to heal up first. Is this? Some matches. I'm, I'm waiting for the catapults because catapults, they could really change this around. That's what Red Team needs right now. They need catapults. They're more useful in 1v1s, that's why we see them a lot in the 1v1s and less in team games, but still, they're useful. They're, they do a good punch in. Looks like uh, XR doing a bit of raiding for this village here, just weakening Red Team little by little. 
and swim coach. Using his cavalry quite a lot. He, he likes these Viking cavalry units. Going to charge into the swordsman. Didn't get any kills on the charge, but he, he weakened them a bit, slowed them down. Oh, pull them, pull them out, pull them out. Don't get. Alright, come on, red team. Ah, oh, I didn't manage to get my actual fire on. So, well, well done to red team there. They, of course, killed one cavalry unit, but the second one got away. I was hoping they could kill the second one just. Just to set blue team back a bit and balance it out, but oh wow, did not expect that. But sadly, that didn't happen. Um, eight sides with just one unit took this village all by himself. That's impressive. Of course, he's gonna die and um, don't have to retreat. And Lonnie should reclaim it for his red team, but still, good, good play by Exide. Oh, was it? It was the catapult. Methodius' catapult. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, I thought we just didn't notice, and Exide just walked in and took it, but nah, that makes sense. Okay, that, that makes sense. They had the catapult. I was saying catapults needed to come in, and now they have. Can Red Team take out the Spearman before he retreats? They got a good shot by Apifos's archers there. Um, he's got some swordsmen as well. Um, I thought he just got a few units round. Uh, they're probably going to counter push soon. Um, is Angel has kind of a decent chance of taking this village, I think. Um, if he gets a few of Lonnie's. Uh, units here as well, he might be able to do it. I, I don't know, it's too early to tell him what from. Um, oh, the Sightless Methodius is catapult. Well done to Lonnie there for swatting the catapult. He's going to kill the unit, probably going to pick it up as well and then uh, make a push somewhere, which will be. Which will, yeah, he's picked it up. It's going to be interesting to see where he's going to go. Is he going to go for base? Like, perhaps put the catapult here, start firing into, into Methodius' base. Nah, I don't like that idea. I, I don't think it would work out that well. Um, be interesting to see if you could use this island here. Like, just have <laughs> sneak a catapult here and just fire in. Oh, that would be fun to see. Um, but sadly not. Um, yeah, Angel here, he could take this village. If he uses uses his archers right. Before he is, he needs to stop these. Ah, oh, never mind, Exide got there. And yeah, Exad Swordsman charge there just saved this village for now. Um, yeah, it looks like blue team with Me um, Methodius here, he's going to take this village. Uh, that's not good for the red team. Place a trap there, just defending the flank. Red team really trying to get to this village now. They're, they're desperate at this point, they need points. Um, it, it's really not looking good for them. But come on, red team, you can do it. I was saying in the last one, uh, comebacks are always possible, I've seen them. Harder in 3v3s than it is in 1v1s and 2v2s, but still they are possible. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they surrendered, it doesn't actually say which team won, but I am going to assume that red team surrendered. Um, it is in an understandable position. Um, yeah, but I think they were down to, was it zero villages at the end? Or we might have just had one, but they were about to lose that, so but we're not in a good position. Um, so I'm guessing they're surrendered. Um, anyway, GG well played to both. Uh, clear win for Exard's team there, um, if that was a disconnect issue. issue. Uh, well done to both players, of course. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy all future scrim nights and stuff. Um, and I hope to see you take part as well there. For, for all players, as you know, we've just had one now with, like, um, as, you've, as you've literally just uh, finished watching. Uh, with like big pro level players um, and we also had one a couple of days ago get uploaded um, or like for me 10 minutes ago but for, for you a couple of days ago uh, where we had like completely new players in um, and yeah that's that's what it's about it's, it's for all players so hope you've enjoyed and goodbye <laughs>